Hey all, how are you? Welcome back, Jackson M. Haskell here. Uh, so the quick announcement is that the video coming. Sorry, is that the video coming after this on the twentieth? We're actually talking about the uh, the original blog for Let's Talk Horror, which is cool. Uh, and that this video coming on the nineteenth, which you're filming right now. We're talking about Bad Batch season one overview for Star Wars, which is really cool. I am pleased to announce that season two of Bad Batch, August twenty eighth, which is really cool. And besides that, next Star Wars content, if you're curious, Force Awakens movie research and throwback will be on August twenty third, which is really cool. Here we go, Bad Batch season one, uh, three seasons, um, which is cool. I think it's like sixteen episodes the first season, so it should be fun. Uh, season 1 ran from uh, May 4th, 2021, Star Wars Day, to August 13th, 2021. First episode, Aftermath, it was directed by Stuart Lee, Saul, Saul Ruiz, and Daniel Villanova. Uh, it ran by Jennifer Corbett and Dave Filoni, May 4th, 2021. Clone Force 99, also known as Bad Batch, but Bad Batch, sorry, includes effective clone troopers Hunter, Tech, Crosshair, and Wrecker, plus Cyborg Echo, sorry, Cyborg Clone Echo during Clone Wars of Bad Batch assist Jedi Master Deep Apalapa and a Pad 1 learner Caleb Doom. Um, later be known as King Jairus on Calier. Order 66 is issued triggering programming. And the regular clones that make them kill Deep uh, Deep Up Balaba. But Bad Batch received the order too, but only Crosshair feels compelled to obey it, and Hunter lets Doom escape. Returning to the clone facilities on Camino, uh, Bad Batch learned that the war is over and that the Emperor has replaced the Galactic Republic. They meet a young girl, Omega, who is another defective clone. Admiral Tarkin arrives to evaluate the clones and sends the Bad Batch to eliminate insurgents on Onderon. When they discover that the insurgents are refugees from Onder Saw Carrera, he refuses to submit to the new empire. The Bad Batch abandons the mission and return for Omega. They are arrested for treason and Tarkin enhances Crosshair's programming, turning him against his squad. The rest of the Bad Batch flee with Omega. Some quick things. Uh, Onderon has been seen before in Star Wars in I think season five. It's where we first meet Saw Guerrera. Deepa, Balapa, and Caleb. Um you would probably know Caleb Doom more from his name Kane and Jairus from Star Wars Rebels. Which is cool. Yeah. Just a really good episode. Uh episode two is Cut and Run. Directed by Stuart Lee, written by Gersman Sandu, May 7th, 2021. A Bad Batch and Omega seek refugee on Seleucemi with clone deserter Cut Laquane, who tells them about the inhibitor chips which program regular clones of crosshairs to be loyal to Empire after Order 66. With increased military presence from the Empire, Cut plans to escape with his family, but the newly introduced chain codes to book public transport. Uh, Cut would be arrested if he had tried to obtain chain codes, so Tech and Echo steal some, and Omega helps deliver them to Cut and his family in time to run the board. But Transport Hunter wants Omega to go with Cut so she can have a family, but she decides to stay with the Bad Batch. Um seen Cut again. Cut appeared in Clone Wars. And it's also the first episode, I believe, that mentions Co uh, Rex, who we're going to see later this season. Episode 3, The Replacements. The Bad um, the Villanova directed it, and Matthew Mishnovitz wrote it. May 14th, 2021. The Bad Batch ship the Marauder is damaged on Seleucemi. They are stranded on a moon, and an Ordo Moon Dragon steals apart and needs to repair a ship. 
Hunter and Omega set out to retrieve it when Hunter is incapacitated. Omega continues alone and retrieves a part without a fight. On Camino, Tarkin invites Admiral Rampart put Crosshair in command of the unit of conscripted soldiers. They are sent to Onderon to wipe out Guerrero's camp, but Guerrero is already gone. Crosshair kills a disloyal recruit and arrests compliant and otherwise, otherwise successful. Tarkin sees potential for conscripted soldiers concerning Camino, Camino and Prime Minister Lamasu. We saw Lamasu earlier this season. Um, but yeah. Um, and Rampart's gonna be really important in the show because he's like the main villain, except for like the third season and middle of the second too, I guess. Uh, cornered episode four, that directed by Saul Ruiz and written by Christian Taylor, May twenty first, twenty twenty one. On a way to propose hiding place on Ida floor, the Bad Batch is forced to step on near uh nearest planet Pantora so they can gather supplies and tech and modify their ship's signature since it now appears on Empire's one list. A land bay attendant on Pantora identifies the Bad Batch and the form of Panic Shan, a mercenary who has been hired to retrieve Omega. Hunter, Echo, and Omega search for supplies while Tech and Wrecker work on the ship. Omega is approached by Shan, which leads to Hunter chasing Shan throughout the city. Hunter and Omega lose Shan. After modifications are complete, the bad maps is apart from Pantora. Fennec Shan, first time we're going to be seeing her. Um, this was her first animation. But she was also in Mandalorian, in the Gunslinger episode. Uh, Men Book of Boba. Is a, is a bounty hunter. But yeah, just really cool. And we're going to see more of her this season. Episode, oh, and we've seen Pantora again. Pantora is featured heavily in Clone Wars. So Republic was a Republic fan. Rampage. Um, Stuart Lee directed it and ran by Tamara Belcher Wilkinson. Wilkinson. May 28th, 2021. Hope and discover who hired Shan, the Bad Batch, go to Ord Mandel, where Echo knows of an informant named Sid. She offers to find out about Shan in exchange for her to help. Slavers have kidnapped a child named Muchi, and Sid will receive a reward from Jabba the Hutt. If a Bad Batch help to rescue the child, the Bad Batch trying to rescue off, fight off the slavers, rescuing Muchi, who is a young Rancor. Taking her to Sid, Muchi's giving the right hand man. Sorry, Jabba's right hand man. Well, Sid bid fortune in exchange for a reward. Sid gives him some of the reward to Hunter, but is unable to learn who hires Shan. She offers to give the Bad Batch more mercenary work in the future. Sid's gonna be really important for the first two seasons. Um, but yeah, we're seeing uh, Bib Fortuna in this episode. And we're seeing a baby ring core. Next episode, we got decommissioned. Um, directed by Nathaniel Villanova, written by Amanda Rose Munoz, Amanda Rose Munoz, June fourth, twenty twenty one. Sid hires a Bad Batch to retrieve a Separatist battle tactical droid. With battle until before it is destroyed at a Corellian uh, decommissioning site, he runs to smuggler sisters Trace and Rafa Martez, who are also after a droid, Wrecker's inhibitor chip begins to activate after he accidentally hits his head. Tech copies the tactical droid's data before it is destroyed, and when he and his sister program it, turn on the police droids to a guarding facility, allowing them to escape. Sisters explain that they were retrieving the droid for a client who was fighting the Empire, and Hunter disguised to give them the data. Later, the sisters tell their client how to find a bad batch. Um, yeah. Corellia, really interesting home, Han's home planet. This is really just a really interesting planet. And we're seeing Trace and Rafa Martez, they appeared in season six. Bad Batch. Uh, sorry, season six of Clone Wars. Oh, sorry, season seven of Clone Wars. What am I thinking? Season seven, where they're good, they would be friends with uh, Ahsoka. And if you're wondering who the client is, uh, Rex. 
Battle Scars next episode. Uh, so, directed by Saul Ruiz, uh, written by Jennifer Corbett, June 11th, 2021, after they failed to achieve the tactical droid's data. She tells the bad about so they need to do a big job to pay off their debt to her. They are interrupted by Martez's sisters, client, former clone Captain Rex, who's alarmed to have learned that Bad Batch have yet to remove their inhibitor chips and have ES. They go to Braca, a starship graveyard controlled by the Scrapers Guild, and sneak into an old Jedi cruiser to use his medical bay. Wrecker uh, chip forces him to attack his squad mates, but they need to do, and chip isn't removed. Rex takes his leave once extractions are complete. As they say goodbye, a hunter is seen by members of the Scrapping Guild. Um, yeah, just really interesting. To see. First time seeing Rex this season. Reunion, episode 8. Stewart Lee directed it, written by Christian Taylor. Um, June 18th, 2021. Scrapper's Guild informs the Empire of the Bad Batch location, and Crosshair is sent to kill them. Concerned about the Omega will not be returned safely, Lama Su hires a second bounty hunter to retrieve the girl. Bad Batch attempts to reach the Marauder through the Jedi cruises ion engines. Crosshair pins them inside as the engines turn on, but they use explosives salvaged from the cruisers. Iron Raider is keeping Crosshair's injured by the uh, engine's ignition. Hunter and Omega are confronted by bounty hunter Cad Bane, who shoots. Hunter and kidnaps Omega. The rest of the squad catch up and carry injured Hunter to the Marauder and escape. First time we're seeing um, Cad Bane this season. Really interesting bounty hunter. The reason, um, if you're running Llama Su, one of the bounty hunters is Cad Bane. The other one would be um, Fennec Shand. The next episode, number nine. Bounty Loss, directed by Brad Rao and Nathaniel Villanova, written by Matt Minishwitz. June 25th, 2021. While chasing after Bane, the Bad Batch learned about te from Tech that Omega is an unmodified clone of Jingo Fett, and so is, is the only available source of fresh cloning materials for the Kaminoans, and route to the old Kaminoan cloning factory in Bora Vio. For delivery, Omega tricks uh, Bane's droid aid Toto into releasing her and is able to signify a signal of the Bad Batch. Lama Su says Tan Wei to achieve Omega and orders now Lassie to eliminate the girl after extracting genetic samples from her. Now like say cares for Omega and wants to keep her safe so she sends Shane to rescue her. Shane kills Tan Wei and duels Bane allowing Omega to escape and is retrieved by the Bad Batch. Which is cool. Um, I think it's really interesting to see the dynamic between Tong Wei and Nalase. Not Tong Wei, Lama Su. Um, and Nalase. Next episode, episode 10, uh, Common Ground. Directed by Saul Ruiz and written by Grissomin, Sound Who. On Raxus, which was the seat of the separatist government during the Clone Wars, uh, Empire institutes new curfew laws. With the support of lo local senator Avi Singh, however, Singh, sorry, Avi Singh, um, speaks out against the Empire while addressing the public and is arrested. His protocol droid GS8 hires Sid to res help rescue Singh, and she, she sends the Bad Batch. Quite reluctant to help after fighting against the separatists in the Clone War, Omega is left behind due to bounty hunters. By targeting her, and she wins Sid's enough money, paying G Junk, pay off the Bad Batch debt with the help of GS8, the Bad Batch rescue scene, and take him to Sid for payment. Which is cool. Um, really interesting. G Junk is a game we see in before in the OG trilogy. Yeah. Uh, Raxus, we've seen before, too. Uh, in Clone Wars TV show. Devil's Deal, episode 11, directed by Stuart Lee, ran by Tamara Boucher Wilkinson, July 9th, 2021, when Senator Orrin Frita announces a new empirical 
Refinery on Ryloth encourages Twilight Freedom Fighters. The Asarm Resistance leader Shim Sindula publicly supports the Empire. His lieutenant, Gobi Molly, uh, takes Shim's daughter Hera on a secret mission to retrieve weapons from the Bad Batch, during which uh, Hera befriends Omega. Crosshair tracks him, and then the Empire rescues Molly and Hera for treason. Shim attacks the Imperial Convoy to rescue them with his wife Elen Eleni and other freedom fighters. Crosshair shoots Onfrita along uh, Rampart to frame Shim for Ta's attempted assassination. Shim, Eleni, and Glee are arrested, but Hera escapes. Really interesting episode. Uh, we're seeing the first appearance in the season of Shim Sindula. He's going to appear next episode. Uh. Oh, sorry, the first appearance of Hera this season. Hera is a key part of uh, Rebels. And she's a Twilight like her dad, and Shim, and her mom, and Eleni. Rescue on Ryloth, episode 12. Oh, and Orange Rita appears in Clone Wars, big supporter of Palpatine Sidious. Rescue on Ryloth, and the Fino Villanova. Uh, directed it and ran by Jennifer Corbett, July 16th, 2021. Hera contacts Omega and asks the Bad Batch to help rescue her parents. Hunter does not think this is worth the risk, but Omega convinces him. Hera, Omega, Tech, and Wrecker attack the new Imperial Refinery on Ryloth as a distraction by Hunter Echo, Free Cham, Eleni, and other refugees, other freedom fighters. Crosshair discovers this and sets a trap for him, but the clone captain, Hauser, who is loyal to Cham, warns the escapees of the trap and confronts his fellow soldiers. Hauser is arrested by the Bad Batch and Freedom Fighters escape. Remember, raising a underestimated the Bad Batch and gives Crosshair permission to hunt him down. Infested, episode 13, reserved by Saul Ruiz. Written by Manuel, Amanda Rose Munoz. Amanda Rose Munoz. Uh, July 23rd, 2021. The Bad Batch returned from mission to find Sid's parlor under ownership of crime boss Roland Duran. They find Sid outside and she reveals a plan to take back the parlor by stealing a shipment of spice from Roland that is intended for the Pike Syndicate. The Bad Batch and Sid enter her office via underground tunnels infested with the hive of Erlings. Retrieved a spice or she's by Roland's guards who awaken the hive. The group escapes from the tunnel but loses a spice to the hive. They are caught by pikes who take Mega hostage while the Bad Batch and Sid retrieve the spike from the hive. The hive. The pikes then let Sid return the parlor. First time we're seeing the pikes this season. Pikes are an infamous gang, like criminal organization. Per feared in, um, Star Wars and Clone Wars TV show. And they're major friends to um, Dark, major allies to Dark Maul. Next up is War Mantle. Um, episode 14, directed by Stuart Lee, ran by Damani Johnson. Rex contacts a bad batch and asks him to respond to a distress signal from Clone Commando Gregor on the planet Daro. At the source of the signal, we found an Imperial base where conscripted soldiers are being trained by clone commanders to replace the clone trooper army. Hunter, Tech, and Echo infiltrate the base while Omega and Wrecker stay in the ship as backup. The bad batch rescues Gregor, but Hunter is captured during an escape. On Camino, I must say, Lamasu and LSA play an escape after Empire cancels their clone army contracts. But they are caught by Rampart. He says that Empire has a use for an LSA as a scientist, but not for Lamasu. Episode 15 Return to Camino. Uh, Vino Villanova wrote it, uh, directed it, Matt Mishnevitz wrote it. August 6, 2021. Hunter. Is taken to Topoka City on Camino, where the Bad Batch, where the Empire has evacuated critical personnel and eliminated the rest. Crosshair activates Hunter's communicator to lure the rest of the Bad Batch there. 
Omega shows others a hidden entrance into now is a secret lab where they were all created and where they found a friendly droid AZI-3. They find Hunter who tries to convince Bat Crosshair to have an inhibitor chip removed, but Crosshair reveals that it already has been removed and he's willingly working for the Empire. Hunter stunts Crosshair as Rampart under the orders of Tarkin begins his train to Poker City with the Bad Batch and Crosshair still inside. Last episode is Seasons Camino Lost, directed by Saul Ruiz, written by Jennifer Corbett, August 13, 2021. Rampart and the Empire depart. As the wreckage of Topoga City sinks into the ocean, Omega and AZI 3 save from Crosshair and we're there. Trapped in a flooding room, once the wreckage of the city settles on the ocean floor, the group ways to make makes way to an access tube that leads to the Marauder. Find the damage. AZI suggests sorry, Crosshair suggests AZI 3 guide them to the surface side lab capsules with George runs out of power on the way to up. Omega tries to save him at the risk of drowning, but until Crosshair sees them both. While they are reached the Marauder, Crosshair chooses a part way with the Bad Batch. Now say is brought to an secret imperial facility at Mount Tantus. Mount Tantus we're gonna see a lot of later in season two. And also season three, which is cool. But that is it for season one. Really interesting season. It's I like season three probably the most, just the most drama. But it's really interesting and I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, the video coming after is August 20th. We're talking about the bat the blob for Let's Talk Horror, which is cool. Um we're talking about season two of Bad Batch, uh, August 28th, then August 23rd, we're going to be talking about The Force Awakens movie, and I hope you all enjoy. Bye-bye.